Tell New York yourself. Amanda, um, I thought you weren't uh, visiting for another two weeks. You know how I love surprises. This L.A. branch is drowning in red like a steer in a slaughterhouse. You know, when I hired you to give this place a makeover, I didn't mean to smear it with lipstick and turn it into a $5 hooker. This office is pathetic. Uh, Amanda, you hired me to revamp this company from the ground up. I'm still establishing new client relationships. Anton V, for example, this could be a hugely successful campaign. Anton V? More like Anton Y, as in, why are we spending so many man hours on a denim line? And I think we both know what I mean by man hours. You could have been a leader, Caleb, but your focus shifted from your client's assets to your client's ass. You're fired. And get out. Take your bat and balls with you. You wanted to see me? Come in. Miss Woodward, it is an honor to finally meet you. Your article on Vanity Fair is pretty much what inspired me to become a publicist. Shockingly, I didn't call you here for your life story. Although your absentee father and pill-popping mother make for a very juicy tale. What? How did you know that... You'd be surprised what I know. We need to talk about tonight. Oh, you have nothing to worry about tonight. I have been running point on Anton V since the beginning. You mean you had a chance to stop a designer from risking his line on some school teacher who's never stepped in front of the camera before? Uh, actually, I warned Caleb that Anton was making a mistake with Riley. He must have been terribly unconvincing. Look, take it from a former advertising exec. Riley Richmond, as the face of his Real People campaign, is about as real and interesting as a plastic mannequin. Anton can't sell a rags-to-riches fairy tale using someone who's had every opportunity given to her on a silver platter. I'm supposed to get Riley to say this? With all due respect, Miss Woodward, none of this is true. If you have a problem, there's a long list of eager assistants willing to take your place. No. No problem. No problem at all. Mm, they are loving her. You know, it's only a matter of time before you're out there on the carpet. It just takes some people longer to recognize talent when it's sitting there right in front of their face. Riley, how did gang violence affect you growing up? Do you feel like a princess? After raising you and your brother all on her own, what is Riley, do you see yourself as a role model? Yes, he will do it all. Okay. Riley, sweetheart, come here. Come here. Thank you. Bye. Thanks so much. Quite a party. You somehow convinced every member of the fashion press to care about real people. Oh, well, Anton V is an important client. Trust me, Riley has been rattling off that bio so well. It's almost as if she actually had to struggle a day in her life. <laughs> Good work, Ella. Maybe you're not as useless as I thought. Down jeans to becoming the face of Anton's denim line. Great, Amanda's gonna skin me alive. Not satisfying enough. The reporter from Vogue just said she's running a story called Anton B. Real jeans for fake people. Well done, Ella. Okay, look, Riley promised me that she wasn't going to say anything. And you trusted her. I guess your friend's not such a great friend after all. See me tomorrow at 1. I'll be at East. Excuse me, they said they keep the same. <laughs> oh. 
Amanda. Hello, Melissa. How are you, darling? Oh, I'm great. Well, thank you so much for the lovely evening. And thank you for being so irresistible. <laughs> well, almost irresistible. I gave her the apple, but she didn't bite. She might be young and idealistic, but she's loyal, Amanda. She's cute, too. Yeah, well, so are puppies. She passed your little test with flying colors. So I guess now we're even. Miss Woodward, have a seat. Thank you. Wow, I've never been here before. The food looks amazing. Don't get comfortable. I'm meeting someone in 10 minutes. Oh. Ella, what's your end game? Honestly, I want to be you. Well, that's a pretty lofty goal for someone who can't even perform a simple babysitting task. Okay, I'll admit, last night wasn't my finest hour, but I am a great publicist. No, Ella, you're a decent publicist who hasn't learned to disengage her emotions. And prove to me you want this. Miss Woodward, I guarantee you, this job is my life. You know, I can't help but wonder what sort of trouble your model friend would find herself in should, I don't know, her school find out that she used sick days to work the photo shoot? Well, they'd probably fire her. Well, did she know that your job was on the line last night? Well, that's not the point. Riley's punishment was not getting her 10 grand. Why torture her? What does she matter to WPK? She doesn't matter to WPK at all, but she matters to you. So if you plan on staying around for more than a week, you need to show me that you are capable of putting your work above everything else, including your friendships. Call the school. Tell them what she did. Miss Woodward, if that's what it takes to be you, then I'm sorry. I guess I'm not interested. <laughs>